Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. What, what are we touching today? So, what are we touching on? The episode uh, that got chosen this time was D10 in the N++ tab. D10? Oh, one I've actually completed all my uh, challenges on. Yeah. There are a couple right. levels here, I remember. Let me run through it. Actually, there are... Okay. Most of the levels here are fairly memorable to me. Uh, um, I know this one. Yeah, P well, cell. I know, I know the parts of it. Yeah, P cell. I don't really remember that well. It's kind of forgettable for me. But the other ones, the other ones are good. Well, Beamer is memorable to me, but I don't know that I'd call it good. You just got beamed. Yeah. Oh, P cell. Yeah, I. I don't know, I feel like P-Cell just has one of those formats, you know, the, the drones in the middle to make you kind of either go slow or memorize the path through. Right. Uh, so it, it's it's a it's a common thing. Uh, so I'm not sure if I'm mixing it up with other memories, but certainly yeah. it's a good level. It's a fine level in its own. Ooh, don't. I know don't. Yeah, don't is the the big one that I remember from from this episode. Yeah, I mean, like in the episode on its own, like it's fine. Just you get the gold and you're good. Right? Yeah. Avoid avoid the openings when you when you can, unless you're going for speed, right. which typically I don't go for. I'm just going for the gold right now. Um. I mean, I say typically. I'm not sure like what most people get out of. Uh, episodes. I'm not. T I don't typically run episodes for score, so I wouldn't be the. Oh. Yeah, I that. think. I think really, v very few people actually go for high-scoring episodes. It's just which, it's just the old old veterans. Which is a shame because I've done it before and it's a lot of fun. Or it can be anyway if you like the episode. Yeah, if you like the episode, I'm not just going for the easy zero zero off on. Uh, intro levels. Yeah. So yeah, Don't has some really fun challenges, though, I think. Yeah. I don't know, what are they? Oh, I don't even... Oh, I can't, I can't see it because I'm playing an episode. But I'll check what I've got once I'm out of it. <sighs> and Tangled Up. Oh. Yeah, Tangled yeah, Up one... is the other one that I remembered pretty well. I... I definitely the uh, all the mines surrounding the exit door are certainly ones that I do. It's triggering, you know, messages. Oh, and I'm not sure if it's just no, no. Um, the drone pattern um, that they uh, kind of cross over each other when you first encounter them right. is reminding me of a uh, master class. Oh, uh, yeah. But. Uh, that's that's what's that's what's really that that's the only real trigger I'm getting. Right. Uh, the most. the big thing I remember from Tangled Up is uh, having trouble getting over the floor guard. That's exactly that's exactly what I was just doing. I was just I was just doing a little hopscotch. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a jerk. Well, not a jerk. It's just persistent. Right. All right. Don't. I think, oh, I think that. Uh, in the episode that uh, Golf Kid and I did, we mentioned that probably a common thing to talk about on this podcast is going to be how good the level names are. And I think this episode doesn't really have any funny ones, particularly. I, I appreciate Don't. Yeah, Don't is a good one. I, I, I like, it's there's there's another co-op level called Just just Don't Touch It. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's, there's a... I think there's either lasers or a chain gun drone or something. Right. Or maybe it's just a whole bunch of chasers. I don't know. But <laughs> I can find it, actually. Co-op. Yeah, I think Tangled Up is a very accurate name for the feeling when you're trying to deal with that floor guard. When you, no, when you're, just try, you're, when you're trying to weave through the... Uh, the... Uh, Oh yeah, just don't touch it. Oh no, it's all rockets. It's there's <laughs> eight rockets. They, and there's a there's a switch in the middle that hits them. Ah. All right. Um but yeah, uh tangled up definitely accurate for the end bit. Um 
Also, I guess it looks like kind of like a uh, mess of rope, the right. level in general. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Beamer. Beamer, yeah, Beamer's... If I had to say, like, if you ask me, can you tell me what Beamer is? I'm like, is that the one with, like, 20 different laser drones? And So that's probably the most, like... That's, yeah, that's ingrained in my brain. Yeah, I think Beamer is one of the more memorable maxed levels for me, and I don't even know why, because I never maxed it. Mm. Oh, like, max as in people have uh, the max gotten zero off, zero off to, to a perfect degree? Yeah. Yeah. Should I say zeroth or zeroth? Because I like, I like the sound of zeroth. I always say zeroth, but zeroth sounds cool. I know, right? I might switch to that. Taking the Zeroth. It's like taking the crown or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, Peekaboom. I like how... The challenge is fairly simple, but still, it's satisfying nonetheless. The, uh, the little corner jump at the very end off of the... Um, there's, there's a patch of gold that you have to corner jump like just right over. Yeah. And for me, corner jumps are still me being only uh, 300 hours uh, adept. <laughs> corner jumps are still a bit of a novelty. Right. I've always found Peekaboom to be one of those just fun levels to play. Where it's not... Yeah, it's like... I, I could happily just play this level, not trying to high score it, not trying to do the challenge, just play it, and it's fun. It's one of those that comes up, you're like, oh, I remember this, but you don't, like, you remember it in a bad way. Yeah. Uh, but then I feel bad for, I feel bad for all the legacy levels that I, you know, have golded and then just left to rot, because I... I, I come back sometimes. I'm just like, okay, I need to do my ultimate challenges. Right. Or hardcore hardcore challenges, hard, hardcore uh, runs. And I see these, I'm like, I did play this at one point, didn't I? And I feel bad because I'm like, all these levels and I just, I left them behind. <laughs> I, I mean, it's what they're there for. They're there to be played, but. Yeah. Know. I feel kind of bad with Legacy because I've, speedrun the entire tab twice i've speedrun each row multiple times i've all golded it i've high scored like half the tab and i don't remember most of the levels i still i still love um just the one there it is just cavern it's just called cavern because that's that's like that's an old level oh yeah i think i remember that's that like one. an og that's like an og level that i just sticks in my brain the shape of it i'm just like yes i know this yeah Just enough. There's just there's so little going on in it, like in terms of like shapes and stuff, that it's very easy to remember. Like we were having the drawing thing. Oh yeah. We were drawing them from memory. I feel like cavern. I could definitely like at any point just be like, okay, yeah, there's like a little crag up in the bit, and there's some gold in there, and then there's two orbiting uh, orbiting drones. But I think actually. In Envy 2 and before, wasn't one of them a chaser? I just sworn. Um, Cause I, remember, I think I remember one of them drone... might be a chaser in 1.4, but not V2. Okay. Okay, yeah. Because I remember, I remember a drone like climbing down the cavern wall. Like, in a place it shouldn't be. Yeah. Yeah, this is... This is good. Thank you for coming on Untitled N++ Podcast. Untitled N++ Podcast. Radical. Yeah, I'm I'm still figuring out if I want to name it and what I want to name it, and also <laughs> if I should keep uploading it to YouTube or pick an actual podcast format. I think... I don't know. You, you, you do you. But I, but I do like the idea. Yeah. It'd be like a... It could be whenever you want, really. Yeah, you do you. Well, I also kind of want it to be, you know, for the community. Yeah. Like, there's 
there's a lot of people in the community, I think, who we don't we don't talk to each other. Yeah. We don't talk to each other so much as we're like, check it out, guys. Check out what I just did. Check exactly. out my shiny. Like, I, I was thinking about it when I when I first started thinking about doing this. Like, oh, yeah, I'll talk to the people that I talk to sometimes. And that's Golf Kid and Killing Pepsi. And that's basically it. And, and I've seen I've, I've seen you around with the orange name. I'm just like, yeah, that's, that's, that's probably a cool dude. Exactly. Yeah. But, like... <laughs> Like, Golf Kid stands out, but other than that, all the orange names kind of, like, blend together. Right. It's like, yeah, that that generally good person. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I want I want this to kind of serve as a way for us to, you know, talk to each other one-on-one -on -one more. Yeah. I'm down with that. Anyway. Maybe you could have, maybe you could have, like, <laughs> what if there's two contending opinions on an episode somebody has to like defend it somebody has to rail on it Ooh, that could be fun <laughs> that could be fun like a special a very special episode just call it a very special call that episode a very special episode and bring on two people who have di diverging opinions on on the episode you're doing <laughs> i feel like that could be fun yeah i think it'd be a lot of fun oh god in the end, it's your thing, but that's an idea. Yeah. No, I think <laughs> I'm very willing to go experimental with episode ideas. It would need to be. It would need to be a really good one, though. Oh. But yeah. you're rolling these randomly, right? Uh, I have been. Okay. I mean, this is. I think you know, I, the second I think episode. You keep doing so. that. <laughs> oh well, yeah. Keep doing it for a bit, but then you get you get roll one. And you're like, oh wait, this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to this one. <laughs> yeah. Like roll again, but have the next one ready for for like the next episode or something. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna disconnect that. Okay. Thank you for for doing Thank this. You. Thank you very much for inviting me to do this. I'm glad to glad to help.